JT Curtis, just another season, right? Well, it's certainly <laughs> another year. I'll say this, though. It's a hot one. Uh, you know, I've gone through a bunch of them, and by far this is the most consistently heat that we've had to deal with. Uh, uh, and really from early morning to the late afternoon. So it's been a challenge, but uh, just one of those obstacles you have to deal with. So much discussion about the record, and I'm, I'm guessing that you're probably just hoping to get there and get it done, right? Yeah, you know, I, to be honest with you, I, I can't even tell you where that'll fall in the schedule. And I told our players the first day of practice, look, I know you're going to hear things, but you're not going to hear it from us. We're not going to discuss this again. The most important thing for you is to prepare to get yourself ready to play the first scrimmage against St. Paul, the, the jamboree against East Jefferson, and then move forward from there. And, and that's how I've always approached it, and that's how I'm going to continue to approach it. you got a good team. You have a lot of returning starters from a year ago, and you've coached so many really good teams. You know what it looks like. Does this look like one of those teams? It's got a chance to be good. It really does. We, we got we got good skill people. We have good uh, uh, quarterback, running back. Uh, our offensive line's got a little depth. Uh, we, we're not going to be big on defense, but we're going to run well on defense. And and I think we've got a chance if we can stay healthy. And you know that's always a key, Kitty. You uh, get in the season and get some bumps and bruises and or lose a guy or two, and it can be tough. But but I think if we can stay healthy, we'll have a chance to be pretty successful. As usual, a fun schedule. You get Zachary again, you get Acadiana again. You know, you got your own league, you got a team from out of state that's obviously good. Uh, this is what you have to do every year, isn't it? It is. You know, somebody asked me, uh, how's the team from Florida? I said, real good. And I said, well, how you know? I said, because they're coming here. <laughs> I said, <laughs> they're looking for a game, too. I said, if they could find a game, they wouldn't be coming here. Uh, but you're right. It's, it's just part of the challenge. Uh, we've always played a good schedule. I think it gets you ready, especially later in the season as you mature and grow. Uh, I think your football team uh, gets better when you play good competition. I think last year was a perfect example of that. You go from you know, getting whipped by car to beating Catholic and then yeah. winning the championship. I mean, yeah. That was a perfect evidence of that. And I think it was a team, as you said, continued to grow and mature uh, in themselves. And that's part of it. I, you got to find yourself and find your, your skill level. And they continue to get better and better. And, and as you said, it culminated how we would like it to have ended. I know the answer. You feel blessed to get that record, to be there when it happens, God willing. It's a blessing. The, the bottom line is God gave me the opportunity I've tried to take advantage of it, and I've tried to serve him through serving our young people. Because, Kenny, I'm going to be honest, if the only thing we have at the end of the day is a score on the scoreboard, it's not worth it. It's not worth the energy, the effort, the time, the money. It's not worth it. There's got to be some intrinsic value. There's got to be some moral and ethical value that is gained through competitive sport. Uh, uh, teamwork, sport, working together, sportsmanship, uh, learning to overcome adversity. Those are the things that are going to make the difference in their lives as they go forward. Uh, because all of us know that are adults, we're going to have difficulty. It's how we handle them is going to be the key. And I think it's a very simple process. Uh, I'm here to serve, not to be served. And uh, we'll continue to operate that way. Best of luck to the Patriots in 2023. Good. Thank you. I appreciate it. Kate.